This is water that's stagnant. In other words, water that has no flow or current. This makes it the ideal breeding ground for mosquito larva. As the water has no current, it means that no cold water can be circulated, which means it's warm. Warm and still conditions are the ideal breeding ground for mosquito larva. Another type of parasite which can grow in these waters are fish parasites. These parasites and their eggs will be released into the water and hopefully swallowed up by any fish which are travelling nearby. When the parasite grows inside the fish's body, it will leach from it, either by sucking blood or by eating its food. Often, the fish will die in this process, but before that, the parasite will lay its eggs, and when the fish dies, then the eggs will be released into the water, ready for any other fish which may swim by. Perhaps one of the most dangerous parasites is the malaria parasite. When the mosquito pierces the skin, blood is drawn up. This is usually harmless. However, some mosquitoes carry the malaria virus, or the malaria parasite. When the blood's drawn up, at the same time the malaria parasite is injected into the bloodstream. It only takes a few hours for this to take effect. After a few hours, the victim's red blood cells are attacked. The parasite heads straight for the centre, pierces, then begins reproducing inside the blood cells. The blood cells soon become too full and explode, releasing many more of the parasite, ready to attack other red blood cells. As red blood cells are the cells which carry oxygen to muscles, cells, and other organs in the body. As so many of these cells are being killed, there is much less oxygen transportation to these vital organs. Therefore, the subject soon becomes very exhausted and begins to breathe very deeply and quickly. This can also lead to death by exhaustion. The water you see here is flowing and it's cold, which means it's not the ideal breeding ground for mosquitoes. Efforts are being made in developing countries to drain marshlands and to prevent stagnant water like this. Hopefully, this will prevent the breeding of mosquitoes around populated areas and thus reduce the effects of malaria.